Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we are going to learn about end-to-end -end example of using Git within your test automation project or within your development. So usually I've been covering this whole life cycle and different scenarios. So say for example, there has been a person who joins first in the team. They will be setting up Git. They'll be setting up the development environment. They'll be writing or developing the framework and then using the GitHub or a remote Git repository hosting service to basically host that particular code into GitHub. And that is what we have done in previous tutorials. So this is our remote code with say for example, our test architect has designed the framework and it is ready. Now as the test engineers into the team, so say for example, usually there are multiple people or multiple test engineers working within the team. And the whole point of this GitHub is to make sure the teams collaborate and and they are able to access the latest information or latest code that is there being developed as part of the whole team that is available at a central repository which is basically github in this particular case and it is available to every member of the team so in this particular tutorial i'll take an example of two sdets or two test engineers who are working remotely or even they are working at a same location but how usually even if there are you know more than two members within the team how the overall life cycle will look like and how git and github will be used and what all things you need to do as the test engineers to get the latest code and keep working with the new features that are being assigned to you to test and automate okay now first thing is say for example i have hypothetically on the same computer created two folders git hyphen s dot one which is say for example a location where s dot one or test engineer one is putting all his code right so i am s dot one and i join a team right now i need to first thing is i do not have this code or framework which my test architect has developed and is available on the github so first thing i will need to clone it and we know that cloning the code clones everything that is there in this github repository into our local machine right so i will start cloning okay so to clone what I'll do is I will open the command prompt or git bash, right? So because I have while installation, I have enabled command prompt or enabled git commands for the command prompt. So even I can use command prompt or I can use git bash. Okay. So let me use git bash in this case. It doesn't matter. The command will remain exactly same whether you use command prompt or git bash. Okay. So to clone the code, we have seen already in the last tutorial, we simply need to go to the repository for which we want to clone. So this is this is all the code, right? Which is, this is our repository. And I want to clone all of this, right? So I will simply go to this drop down here, copy this URL and in git bash, let me close one. Okay, so now here, what I'll do is I will simply say git clone, right? And you need to ensure that you are in the folder where you want to clone, right? So you can see that I'm in the C git hyphen as that folder right so i when i'm there i'll simply sorry this is it has copied this because i highlighted it so let me copy again and i will say git clone and paste the url okay and as soon as i'll enter all of the code will be cloned in the sd1 folder okay you will see that this is the folder and this code has been imported there okay so what i'll do is i'll simply rename this to selenium python maybe i'll say sd1 okay just to make sure that you can see the differentiation so same thing will be done by the second person as well right so say for example you started first second person started late or you started at the same time right so the the other person has been assigned a feature to test which is feature xyz okay and then you have been assigned a feature feature abc just hypothetically assume that you, you both are working different features and you have to automate both of those features okay so as that two will basically you know do the same thing he'll you know go ahead he or she will go ahead and clone right so let me close this and what i'll do is i will change the location so i'll simply say c sd2 right so now i'm in the c sd2 and i will run the same command so i'll say git 
clone and because everyone will be cloning from the same repository so the url will remain same and the code will be cloned on sd2 machine as well so in this case because both of the uh, in the example i'm taking both of them uh, in the same computer but ideally sd2 will have his own computer and they'll be using or the code will be on the sd2's computer right so sd2 selenium python so i have renamed that now in the pycharm okay so let me open pycharm so both of them will start working so let me quickly open two of the pycharm windows and we'll see how the collaboration will actually happen right so okay so i'll say open okay so as an sd1 i'll open my project which is at git sd1 right so i'll select the folder and i'll open in the new window all right minimize it let me close this one and open another window wherein i will open the code for sd2 so usually this is how both of the people say so for example are having the code okay now as part of the feature development right so in my particular case now i have this particular code okay so usually say for example this person is in different time zone or even in the same time zone but there are certain common files that are being updated by you okay so by me say for example i'm as that one i am changing some of the files okay so say for example in the base driver i have changed something as part of the development of the new feature okay or new test cases okay so in the base driver i have added something which needs to be updated by the sd2 while they are doing their own development okay so say so for example i have added some lines okay some lines from sd1 okay so this is was what has been added and let me add a new file or new test case as well okay so because i'm developing a new test case so i'll say sd1 or i'll say test underscore sd1 okay so a new file has been created so i won't add it through this particular prompt i'll cancel it you can add through this prompt as well okay and i will put some line there and save these file okay now similarly this other person is also working on their own test cases okay so they are creating their own test cases so i will say test as that two and paste some line there okay and save it okay so now this person the as that one is in a time zone which is say for example 10 hours ahead of the time zone where as that two is so by the time this person you know finishes the work they have updated some of the things in the base driver which are common utils and some some other utilities right so usually when other person comes in or any person usually even if you're in the same time zone whenever you come in and you start working within the team the best practice is to baseline the code to the latest available code which is possible or which is which is available in the master branch right so whenever you are starting your work so you have to make sure that you have the latest code not the code that is there which which you have been working from past you know four or five days so you have to keep baselining the code to the latest version so usually when you get in into the morning the first thing you do is you you baseline the code to the latest version that is available in the github okay so this person as that one has done some changes so now this code needs to be pushed into the master branch or pushed into the main branch into the github so that other person who is in the different time zone when they come in they can get these changes so these changes they do not have to you know worry about after a week say so for example you delay these changes or check in of these changes until a week there might be possibility that there are a lot of conflicts or there will be a lot of code that you have written that hasn't been gone into the master branch and once there is a lot of code from many team members that needs to go into the master branch there is a high chance that there will be a lot of conflicts that need to be resolved and it might cause a lot of issues in future so usually once your day is finished you check in whole code or you check in multiple times right and then any person who is starting work they then baseline the code to the latest repository so this person will basically check in right so let's go to the as that one right so i will simply change the directory and now i'm in the as that one folder so i'll say git status right so uh, it's not in that particular folder so the folder is sd1 hyphen selenium python okay so i'll move to that and let's see what the status is 
So you'll see that this test case has been added by SDET1 and some changes have been modified, right? So there are some modifications in the base driver, okay? So let's add this. So to add these files to the staging area, so we'll simply say git add dot, okay? And then again, git status, you'll see that now these files are ready to be committed. So now we can commit, okay? So, and this commit is, is still in the local repository, right? So it's still on the SDET one's local machine. So I can simply say git commit hyphen M and I'll say commit from SDET one. Okay, and I'll simply say 10 hour ahead. Okay, just just the time zone and you'll see the changes have been committed. Now these these changes are still local. They haven't moved to the this GitHub repository, right? So to move it to the main or the main branch, what the person needs to do is we'll simply say git push we have to push right so if we go to this particular diagram you'll see we have added the file to staging which is index then committed to the local repository now we have to push it to the remote repository which is github okay so as that one is pushing it to the remote repository okay so we'll say git push origin main right main is the branch and okay so again the permission issue so i will run this command which is basically setting up the remote url okay okay and now i will run git push origin main okay so now the code has been moved to the github okay so this is, has been done by sdet1 okay so let's refresh and see the commit right you'll see that commit from sdet1 10 hours ahead and two minutes ago the edit uh, the commit has been done and you'll see the comment here as well that in the base folder as well there has been some changes that had been done okay so now this sdet2 comes in which is basically 10 hours behind and when once they you know come in to the office what they need to do is they need to first get the latest changes right in their machine so what they'll do is so say for example i'll clear the screen and i need to change it to so the workspace of sdet2 is sdet2 and sdet2 selenium pipe right so this is where the sdet2 is working so now as part of the first thing in the morning what i have to do is i have to basically get so at the moment if you'll see get status it is up to date uh, it says your branch is up to date with origin main right this is this is what this person has taken yesterday say for example now today when they come in early in the morning they have to basically baseline it to the latest uh, latest available code that is there in the github so usually to do this what we need to do is we need to pull the changes that have been done in the main branch right so this person as the two has also you know written a new test case right so he hasn't committed it right so this is untracked file okay so he hasn't committed it it's still untracked so what this person needs to do is they need to get the latest changes that have been pushed by as that one so to do that what they have to do is they have to just pull the changes right so usually clone clones everything or all of these folders into a repository which is required only once when you are doing the development environment setup to pull uh, to clone all the code that is there in the github then in order to get only the changes that have been done by the team or by other testers you just need to say git pull and just run this command right so if we go to this particular cheat sheet you will see that we simply need to say git pull to fetch the latest changes from origin and merge right so we simply say git pull and here we'll say you'll see git pull and what it does is it merges all the changes present in the repo remote repository to the local working directory so it doesn't sort of overwrite it will merge whatever changes have been done by sdet1 into your local repository okay so let's run this and we'll say git pull and you will see that after doing git pull you will see that base driver has been you know updated so if we open this particular sdet2 so you will see that the test case has been appeared which is basically from test sdet1 and in the base driver as well you will see at the last this has been added by sdet1 okay and this is the test case that has been added by sdet2 which which still hasn't been checked in okay so now this person will basically work on this test case sdet2 so let's put this code right or some lines there from sdet2 save this file and now this person will check in this code once he finishes or she finishes uh, their work then they will push this code to the master branch right so i will say git add dot and then git commit 
message and the message is commit from sdet2 and 10 hours okay so now this has been committed in the local repository now we'll push it to the github repository okay so here we should be in the test case at the moment you will see test as that 2 hasn't been there okay let's push it and it should be available so we'll simply say git push origin main oh i keep forgetting this but you have to make sure that if you're getting this error you just have to ensure big the reason i'm getting this most probably in your case you won't get it because i have uh, the account with rcv academy i have the account with software testing mentor and i have the account other accounts as well so because of that i have to basically set the remote url every time and then push it okay so you'll see the push has happened and if i refresh this now i should be having this test case right so commit from sd2 10 hours behind okay so these are the commits now this as that one again comes in right so let's open as that once workbench now if in the test case you will see the test case that has been updated by as the two hasn't been available there okay so now this person comes in what they'll do is they'll again pull the latest changes and then start working okay so that's the practice that you have to follow so let me clear screen and now assume that as that one is working right so we'll simply change c as that one and we'll say git status okay and now we have to basically first thing is we have to do we have to pull the latest changes so we'll simply say git pull and it should pull all of the you'll see test underscore as that two has appeared right with all the details that have been entered by the as that two and now this person as that one can start working and this process is being continued and followed by the test engineers that are working within the team so this is basically how how the end-to-end -end flow of Git and GitHub will look like and how you will be usually using it in any of your project. Now there is a concept of pull request as well. Now directly, you know, we are directly pushing all of the code to main, right? So usually like once I am doing a particular feature and then I'm directly, you know, pushing the code to main branch when I'm going. Now this is followed in many places usually in test automation if you are a small team this still works but there is always a concept of you know pull request so that the code review happens there is someone who is reviewing the code whatever the testers are doing if you are just two three members and you are doing peer review prior to you know doing all the check-ins or pushing in the main branch that works as well but in case you are a big team then there will be the review that will happen and there is a concept of pull request right so branch and pull request which i'll cover in the upcoming tutorial okay so that's all for this particular tutorial about end-to-end -end flow of git and github within the team i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching